So another day begins digging on the new trail. And today I'm joined by two very special individuals. First off, we got the legendary King Dingling. Woo! And we actually found out something very interesting about him uh, earlier is that his porn star name and his stripper name are both King Dingling. You'll find me. Look it up. <laughs> and then over here, of course, we got Greg. You guys have already seen him once on this trail. How's it going? I know I'm disturbing his calm because he likes it to be quiet. Yes. And calm and I'm disturbing it. But he's working on a new trail called Dead End. Yes. And it's actually up past pinball. Some of you guys may have seen it. You guys thought it was me, but it's him. <laughs> it's the mastermind. Super sick. The foreman is here. And as you can see, we are bench cutting. Let's get back to it. So this is a very sad moment. We have to bid farewell to this tree here. So let's have a moment of silence. All right, let's cut it down. The D is done and the tree pinch is widened up. Use my trusty handsaw. It actually works really well. And take a look at the view going downhill. Still tight. Everybody's gonna still have to pay attention because there definitely are crank catchers here, but I rounded this off a lot. First I cut it normal and then I actually shaved it. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue going through. And let's go check out what's happening up here. All right, so this is the sad part of the day. We have to say goodbye to Greg. It's been fun. He's gotta go put the penguin suit on. Ah, oh, jeez. Somebody's got to pay the bills, you know? <laughs> well, thanks for coming out, brother. Thanks for having me. Today, I wanted to give you guys an insight into how I finish bench cuts. Now, if you watched some of the previous videos, you would have seen the raw cut that we did in the summer, where we basically just got the trail route and the gradient correct, and that's it. The side was still, you know, a right angle, wasn't clean, wasn't really that rideable, wasn't pretty. So this is how we turn that type of trail into something gorgeous. So this is the start of the second cut. And as you can see, you've got a nice, nice angled side hill on the high side of the trail. The reason you do that is if you look at a bike from behind, you have the tire, but then you also have the pedal sticking out and the handlebars. And when you draw that angle, it's just a little bit greater than a 45 degree angle. So that's why I always make sure to have a 45 degree angle or something close to that on the edge of the trail. So this is the first part where you cut and you basically move the dirt and flatten it out. Now, here's where the fun part begins. Over here, we have the section that I just raked. And this is kind of the second part of the process where you make sure all everything is tamped, but then you rake everything. And what this does is this pulls all the rocks out of the dirt and it flattens it out a little bit. And I use first the front side of the rake, and then I use the back side of the rake to smooth. So this is kind of the contrast. It's what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. So now everything is raked with the tong side of the rake. It's time to flip it over and use the other side. So many people neglect this side of the rake, but it's a really great tool because basically you can use it as a cutting edge and it will scrape all of those little bumps out of your trail and make it really smooth. So some of you may look at this and say, well, it doesn't look any different, but let me tell you, just using the backside of the rake, it's twofold. So you can shave off any bumps, but you're not pulling or pushing down with a lot of pressure. So by pulling kind of this mound of loose dirt, you're actually filling in a lot of the holes too. So as you're pulling, you can see that there's maybe like a hole that's on the edge or maybe more is needed outside. You can see right here, as I was pulling, I tilted the rake and kind of dumped off some of the dirt here to make it more smooth. So some people do the tamping after they cut and then they use the rake. I do it the opposite way because we're doing a lot of walking anyway. So as you're walking, you're kind of tamping it down and I would rather have it totally smooth and flat 
before we actually tamp. Because once you tamp, it gets really hard and quite a bit harder to fix a lot of those bumps. All right, so this is the top edge of what we finished today. And a lot of you would say, oh, that looks perfect, it's done. But I always have to ask myself, because this trail is in honor of my dad, what would the Badger do? WWTBD. And he always made a big deal of stomping down this inside edge. And this was a big thing for him. And so Badger, if you're watching this, this is for you all the way on the side. And I'm gonna go all the way down, do the whole thing. And I guess I figure this is an edge. So if I'm saying remember to tamp your edges, that's an edge too, so all the way down. So in continuing the motto, if it is in the way or could be in the way, we remove it. And so this is a potential crank catcher, especially if you're coming down, coming through this, that's gonna be an issue. So we're gonna cut that off, make this maneuver just a wee bit easier. Look, he got you a stick, Jack. <laughs> Is that too big, Jack? All right, we, we found his threshold. So we finished the work up the trail on the bench, and we decided to turn our attention to this switchback. You know, it's kind of in a tricky spot because there's a creek here, so we can't actually go too far into the hill. So what we're gonna do is try and push the trail up a little bit and pull a lot of this dirt down into this area to kind of make a flat spot right here. And then that will be where the majority of the turning will be so that coming down and going up, you have a nice spot to turn. But coming down, we're not gonna berm this a lot like some of the other turns because we actually want this to be a natural slower area because this is what leads into that tree over there. You're all good. You're the, you're the model for the camera. <laughs> I, I'm a porn star. I mean, what do I gotta say? I've been on lots of cameras. Your, your job is so much cooler than a porn star. Look, I even got bringing the 70s porn back. Oh yeah. my God. Just missing my glasses, you know? So for those who don't know, the, know this uh, Joker, he actually is a fireman, which is like the best profession ever because he works with hand tools and outside all day, but he gets paid. So, you gotta get paid before you get laid. <laughs> and there you go. Let's work on the switchback. We are a good 45 minutes into figuring out how to dig in the switchback and it's not getting any easier. <laughs> and actually what I wanted to show you guys is in hindsight, what should have happened is right here is a nice wide flat spot. Now this would have been a great place to put a switch back, basically edge where that white rock is, turn and then go up these bushes here. But the trail was initially cut much higher and so we're having to deal with this basically big hill that we have to dig out. But in the end, it will be all be worth it, right? Oh, it definitely will. <laughs> And you can see how much dirt we've excavated here on the high side. And all of that is being used to fill the bottom and raise that up. So at the same time we're cutting dirt off to make that go down, we're taking the dirt and filling it to make this go up. So that the actual switchback here is completely flat or at least close to it. So you know how I've said I hate building switchbacks? Yeah, I hate building switchbacks. So another 30 minutes in, and it's finally starting to look like something. I don't know if that something is a switchback, but uh, it's getting close. So I have to ask, I always ask everybody, why do you like trail building? You gotta help out. It's fun, peaceful. Yeah, the peaceful is a popular option. It's just it's so quiet out here. You need that release from being a porn star, right? Oh yeah. It's it's just a good workout. It's a different workout than being a porn star, you know? <laughs> Helps with your cardio. <laughs> Gotta keep up the fitness, right? Yep. 
All right, so unfortunately we ran out of time for me to really show you guys what we did today. But to be honest, that's actually more the rule rather than the exception. So usually we're out digging well past dark with lights and other stuff, um, especially now that the light sunsets so early, it's, it's pretty rough. But as always, I'm always thankful for other people coming out to help dig. We'll say bye to uh, King Dingaling. And as always, go fast, get drifty, and don't suck. You!